Hey guys, let's talk about how to detect a key press. If you're familiar with anything I do, you know I use jQuery, and you know that jQuery is great for using the key press function. Well, that that's great when you attach it to an input field and you're detecting what key was pressed, etc. But what if you want events to happen? What if you're building an application and you need the enter button to do something? You want the escape button to do something? You want, when you hit I, you want something to happen in the application, not necessarily on a field, okay? So let's let's take, for example, let's, um, let's create a div. Um, so here's just a 600 pixel wide background color div, and then, um, and then let's close the head body body HTML and then let's just create this div uh, with some sample text in it like that okay let's um, let's say we want this div right here I say this is my application when I hit escape I want that div to slide up and down okay when I hit escape slide up when I hit escape slide down okay let's so right now um, in order, if you don't know any more, then you think, well, I have to attach key up to the box. Well, the problem is the focus is not on the box. So the key is to attach the key listener, okay, to the to the document itself. And let me let me explain what I mean. Um, let's let's start off with some some jQuery script right here, and then um, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our normal uh, document dot ready. Um, and people keep telling me there's a fast way to do this. I know there is. I just like to write it this way because it tells me it's just easier to read because I write a lot of plugins and it's confusing with the plugin. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this document again, just like we did a second ago, but now we're going to attach that key up listener right to it. Function, right? Now the function is going to take an object event, okay? Object event, okay, close that. So now we've attached a key listener to the document. So now what that means is no matter what, whenever this key happens, okay, I'll be able to catch it. All right, so what we need to write is, uh, now there's actually two things to this. There's an Internet Explorer way, which is uh, object event uh, dot, um, actually it's, it is object, so, so what kind of happens is on the window, there's an event when the listener's fired. All right, object event is going to be null. So if if object event is equal to null, right, then we need to do um, then we need to do event dot key code to get the to get the key. Every every key has a key code applied to it. So so let me just uh, write this out. So so if if object event is null, then we need to do ev then we need to say um, let's say key code equals event dot key code uh, else else we can do object event dot uh, key code and again the reason that we're doing this is, is this is how Internet Explorer does it and this is how the rest of the world does it uh, so if you want this to work cross browser y you have to do it that way um, now there's a quicker way of writing this that I'm going to show you because I really, I really this is a great method for this if you're just setting something and then else setting something then you can use a shorthand if statement basically you say if if true or whatever object event so if object event I don't have to write anything else if object event if it's true so question mark okay if object event is true so this is if it was false so if it's true then we want to say uh, key code key code equals equals that okay then else colon all right colon uh, if it's not true, then it's this, right? That's the shorthand way to do this. So, so that right there sets my key code for me in both browsers. So it's a very cool statement. Uh, so learn your le learn your shorthand ifs. Most people actually put it in parentheses like this uh, to make it easier to read. All right, now um, now that we have a key, let's let's go ahead and do console.log on key code and take a look. And console.log is going to show down here. So if I hit E. It shows me it's letter 69. If I hit R, it's 82. If I hit Escape, it's letter 27. Okay, so this is the key that I would like to attach. It's 27. Now there's a way uh, to get the actual letter. So say say I type in G and I want it to say G. There's a quick way to do that. Um, let's say letter equals. All right, it's going to say string, which is a string 
uh, the string class, there's a function in there called from car code, and that we're going to pass in the car code. So these are like, uh, I forget, I think they're ASCII, car uh, ASCII numbers, and don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. But we're going to get the from car code, and then, um, that's fine, from car code like that. Uh, and, and then we're just going to console.log, console.log, our letter, and when it can, it's going to show you, uh, and let's clear that out. If I hit G, it's going to tell me G, 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 okay? So there's a way to get the letter, but we don't need the letter for now. What we want to do is, is uh, let's say if, okay, if key code equals 27, that escape key, then we want to do something. What do we want to do? Well, we're going to create a function in a second here. Um, we can actually do it right here. So if key code equals 27, right? Then we want to then we want to slide toggle this div. So we'll just grab we'll grab that div right there and we'll just say slide toggle, which is a jQuery way for sliding up and down back and back, okay? So now all I have to do refresh the page. If I hit escape, it goes up. If I hit escape, it comes down. So now I'm calling that function based on uh, what key I press. And I can be anywhere in this application and this would fire. Okay, so now you can kind of see how if you have an application or if your website, if you want to make your own dialog box pop-ups or, or if you want to say, you know, hit C to continue or whatever, you can just attach the listener to the page just like this and then just know what key you're trying to get. And then, and again, just console.log to test it out. And you know, here's your key, and then here's your function based off of whatever you typed in. So now you can attach uh, random key events, you know, the enter key, um, or the escape key in this case, uh, to call different functions for your website.